An alleged ID theft operation that spans several states will likely head to federal court. We first broke this story on Wednesday. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig is off tonight. La Vista police say they picked up two men with a lot of fraudulent documents and equipment. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us live with the latest. Jake. Jen, the men who are from out of state remain in the Sarpy County Jail. Now, one of their defense attorneys anticipates them being indicted on federal charges soon. 30-year-old Herman Fasai and 24-year-old Emmanuel Hale were charged in state court with possession of financial transaction devices and felony conspiracy. In late August, La Vista police stopped the men on Interstate 80 and searched the vehicle. They found 13 fraudulent credit cards, money orders, and $15,000 in cash. A further search led to a computer, a magnetic strip rider, and software related to identity theft. But I imagine, you know, uh, if not this month, perhaps next month, uh, a federal grand jury indictment will be returned. James Martin Davis represents Fasai. He says the feds are trying to determine if any of these items were used to defraud or violate the law. He says so far there's no evidence they were used anywhere in the country. I don't know that they've come up with any transactions or sales or uh, incidents where my client and his co-defendant uh, have gone out and used these for criminal purposes. The men are from California and Oregon. Both are being held on $500,000 bond. The Secret Service says they're still investigating Fasai and Hale. Davis says there's no evidence the men were using the equipment themselves to steal identities. Davis does know the men didn't make any effort to take the identities of Nebraskans. It's alarming for most Nebraskans with respect to, to the items that all the items that they had in terms of supposed stolen identities. But I think to put the people in Nebraska at rest, uh, those identities uh, related to people not only uh, in the East Coast but in other countries. Hale is awaiting a December trial date. Fasai is scheduled to have a preliminary hearing soon, but Davis says they've continued it because of the likely federal indictment. Reporting live in the News Center, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.